everyone, I hope you are doing well. I am Katie, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do, hello to you too. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different in the way that I'm sort of doing a collab. Physically, the person isn't here, as you can see, but I wanted my friend to get a little bit more involved because she sent me in a request to do a quick fire question because I'm, I'm nowhere near big enough to get people to ask me all these questions I said why didn't she come up with the questions and then she could reel them off to me I've actually been wanting to delete my 50 facts about me video because I just wasn't happy with it so this is a great way for you guys to get to know me this way rather than me just bleh at you. I actually just spat on my hand. I asked Tracy to send me in a little video of her asking me the questions so you guys can get to meet her too. And actually it's really funny because Tracy and I have only officially met a couple of times but we're kind of like cyber friends. So this is like cyber friends to a whole new level. That sounds really weird. So I'm going to answer the questions as quick fire as possible but also add in a little bit of extra information as to why I'm answering that. The idea came from Tracy's blog as well so I'll link that below for you. Hope that you enjoy this video and if you want to see more of the two of us working together I'm sure we can finally meet up and do something. Do something a bit more proper. So here we go. Katie, 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 Katie! Sorry, but this is the best intro I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I've got your quick fire questions here for you. I know you've been thinking about doing this for a while, so please excuse me if I keep looking down at my trusty book, because I've got quite a long list of questions here. You know the rules, answer as quickly as you can, first thought that comes into your head, and try and stick to the options even though I didn't in my blog. So, uh, first up, savoury or sweet? Sweet. The reason being is I love cake. I love making cakes and obviously you've got to eat the cake after you've made the cake, otherwise what's the point of making the cake if you're not going to try the cake? I prefer dinners that obviously I'm not going to pick a sweet dinner and I prefer dinner over dessert but I love cake too much not to answer sweet to that question. Run or cycle? Run. Run for your life. In a situation where someone was chasing you, you wouldn't be like, oh, can I uh, just quickly grab my bike? Also, I haven't ridden, ridden? I haven't rode, ridden. I haven't been on a bike since I was a little and littler than I am now. Um, so I feel like I'm a bit more practiced at running even though I don't do anywhere near as enough exercise as I should do. Staycation or vacation? Vacation, I mean, I love holidays and last year I went without a holiday <gasps> and it was the worst year ever. So this year I'm making up for it and going for a six week banger. Wow, that sounds rude. I'm going on a six weeks holiday with my mum and dad. So <laughs> yeah, also I just can't grasp the weather here so how do you know if you're gonna end up with a good day or a bad day. I know obviously it rains abroad, but generally you get a better idea of what the climate is in that place. Rain or sun? On the contrary, saying about weather, generally I like rain better. <laughs> I love watching rain out the window. It just makes me feel cozy. I much prefer to feel cozy and that feeling over sitting in the sun any day. Summer or winter? Winter. On the same note, I like being cosy. Also, winter brings with it Christmas, so there's your obvious answer right there. Early bird or night owl? I'm definitely a night owl. 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm not asleep until like 1, 2 in the morning. And I just don't do mornings, so I will never ever be an early bird. So good luck to the father of my child when that happens, because you'll be on all of the morning duties. <laughs> Glass half full or half empty? Half empty, and I know you're meant to answer half full, but personally I just feel like half empty means that you've been able to drink half of the drink, so you've had the pleasantries and you're, you've just got that 
half left to fill back up again. Isn't it the same thing? <laughs> chocolate or vanilla? Definitely chocolate. Not like the kind of girl that just goes and grabs a bar of chocolate, like I'll have a very small chocolate bar if any, but generally chocolate flavouring, so like chocolate ice cream, chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cakes, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Books or movies? Movies. I do love a book and I do like to get into a book, but it takes me a long time to get into a book and whereas with a movie I can kind of grasp whether I'm going to like it or not just from like, you know, the outset and generally films tend to have a really nice looking actor in it which just entices you more into liking it. Although having said that, I do like to visualise characters myself, but when they make it into a movie and do it wrong, then shh. PC or Mac? Mac. A, they're prettier. B, they're prettier. And C, I like Apple products. I have a MacBook, I have my phone, and I have my iPhone, and I have my iPad and I like the fact that they all link together. Having said that, I do like to use a PC for work because I just feel like you can navigate around them better. But if I got used to using a Mac at work, then I'd probably prefer that anyway. Ketchup or mayonnaise? Ketchup. I'm the same as Tracy. Obviously it's ketchup. Mayonnaise is only acceptable in a sandwich of chicken, a chicken sandwich some may say, where it's thinly, thinly spread just so it gives it a bit more moisture. Um, oh, and turkey. But mayonnaise is just gross, although there is a nice mayonnaise, Hellman's mayonnaise brownie recipe that, that ask me for it because they make good brownies. It does mayonnaise. Would you believe it? Tattoos or piercings? Piercings! I'm not a lover of tattoos, I have to say. I prefer a tattoo to mean something to someone and actually have meaning rather than just be like, oh, I went on this lad's holiday, yeah, and I, I got Pikachu tattooed on my bum because it was a childhood memory. That's a great impression, Katie, well done. Um, but you know what I mean, it has to mean something. Although my friend did dream that I had a Disney quote tattooed on my inner arm the other day, and that is probably something that I do. So there's me saying that it has to mean something. I guess quotes can mean things. <laughs> Cats or dogs? I love cats! I feel like I'm going to be the crazy cat lady when I grow older. Um, I just love cats. Although they do make me sneeze. I have kind of warmed to dogs like Shih Tzus. And no, I don't mean my mother. <laughs> Shih Tzu. <laughs> um, because they're just so fluffy and cute. And they're almost cat sized. They're like uh, the best of both worlds. Bourbons or custard creams? Bourbons! And Tracy told me the other day that there was a bourbon shortage so clearly I don't really purchase bourbons very much because I didn't notice that this was a thing. Apparently there was this shortage because the factory got flooded and then there was just this mass shortage in supermarkets. It's got to be a bourbon over a custard cream. I do like custard creams but I like to Pull the bourbon apart, eat the the chocolate icing bit, and then eat the biscuit. Marvel or DC? I don't... I just don't get this whole comic malarque. But whichever one is the Hulk, and therefore is Mark Ruffalo. Yummy. Saver or spender? Spender. I mean, obviously, to some extent, you've got to save to be able to purchase a higher end product but generally speaking come on when your paycheck comes in I'm gonna go and spend it silver or gold I'm assuming that's for jewelry I'm assuming it is for jewelry as well um, I'm all about gold I love gold and my mum finds that really odd because I never used to like gold 
I also like to wear, like, I don't know if you can see, but I wear the Pandora heart rings, and one is gold and one is silver, and I'm pretty much sure I want the rose gold one as well. I like my outfits, so say if an outfit has a, a silver zip or a gold zip, the jewellery has to match that, and therefore I like to introduce both gold and silver, but generally gold. I love gold. Um, Christmas or Halloween? Tracy, I mean, <laughs> what was the point in even asking that question? Christmas! Christmas is literally 24-7, 365 days a year, and I love Christmas so much, and Christmas consumes my life, so Christmas 100%. Although Halloween, Halloween, Halloween is like the countdown to Christmas. I'm going to change the one that I answered for this one. Harry Potter or Love Actually? Tracy! Oh, that's mean. Harry Potter is obviously my first choice. Harry Potter has taken over my life in recent years. But Love Actually will always be a firm favourite as an individual film. I guess that... Harry Potter has all elements of it anyway, obviously not naughty rude scenes, but Harry Potter has a lot of the actors from Love Actually, is all about love actually, in the way that love conquers all, and yeah, I don't, I don't know, I just, I don't know, that is so tricky but it has to be Harry Potter. Dancing or singing? Singing. I like to sing. I like annoying people with my singing. And I've got this thing where I can learn lyrics to songs really quickly. Although I do also like annoying people with my dancing. Hand in hand they go together but singing is my number one choice even though I'm not very good at it. Hugs or kisses? Hugs because you can hug anyone. I mean to a certain extent. But you wouldn't go up to someone who's been crying their eyes out and just go and full frontal snog them, would you? You'd go and hug them and try and console them and make them feel better that way. I generally prefer hugs. It's just a lot more warming and, yeah, you can enjoy them with everyone, whereas kissing's a bit more personal. Sausage or bacon? Bacon. Bacon's been in my life a lot longer than sausages have. I mean that by saying I only fell in love with sausages, oh my god this sounds so weird, um, about five years ago now. Before that I didn't really like them and bacon, I just love bacon. Bacon is good for me. Scrambled or fried? Scrambled and scrambled with cheese because I don't like fried eggs anyway, so that wouldn't be my choice. But also, cheese makes everything better, so scrambled. But my actual choice would be poached or boiled. Bond or Bourne? I've never watched a Bourne film, so it's got to be Bond. Also, I'm not like a crazy Bond fan. I have seen a couple of the new ones with Daniel Craig, and I like them. I think they're really good, but it's not my first pick of a movie. Money or fame? Money. And the reason being is that you don't need to be famous to have money. Money makes the world go round. Yeah, I guess that with fame comes money, but you're not guaranteed as to how long that's going to last. Sunrise or sunset? Sunset. I like to know from that little poem what the day is going to be like the next day. So, yeah, obviously there's Red Sky by Morning, Shepherd's Warning, which is bad anyway. And Red Sky by Night, Shepherd's Delight means that it's going to be nice and sunny and I like to know in advance what the weather's going to be like. And that's obviously the only key way to tell. <laughs> also, I'm never up early enough to know that there's a sunrise going on. One time, my friend, this one down, a bang camp. No, one time in Spain, my friend and I took our mattresses up onto the roof in order to go and watch the sunrise the next morning. Yeah, it got to about midnight, I'd say, and then we took the bed back downstairs and we're like, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so that gives you an insight. Multiple choice questions or essay questions? Multiple choice because it's easier to answer yes, no, and maybe a maybe because I'm indecisive. But also, as you can tell from this video, I do like to elaborate. Long hair or short hair? 
As long as it's long enough to get into a messy bun, I'm happy. I guess you could say that short hair is easier to maintain to a certain extent, although the dream is to have long hair, it just never grows past this length. Facial hair or clean shaven? It's gotta be clean shaven. I mean, I just can't be dealing with old bits of food and that smell of musty beard and yeah, it just makes me... Smoking or non-smoking? Not something that really bothers me anymore. I think too many people smoke for me to be like, oh, that's disgusting. I got used to it when you used to go on nights out and things, but generally speaking, non-smoking because who wants their hair and clothes to smell like smoke? Paying a mortgage or paying rent? Paying a mortgage? I mean, then you've blooming made it if you've got enough money to pay a mortgage. Um, also, I look at it as like if you're paying rent to someone, it means generally you're paying off their mortgage. I'd hope that one day I'll get to the stage where I can pay off my own mortgage and I'll look at that as rent. I hope that makes sense. Shower in the morning or in the evening? I like to shower at both times of the day, but I go shower in the evening. The reason being is I like to be nice and clean and fresh, ready for bed, and it just washes the day away, especially if it's a horrible day. Generally, it feels nicer to shower at night. Call or text? Text, and if you dare call me, then you'll probably 99% of the time get through to my voicemail. If it's important enough, you'll leave me a voicemail and I'll come back to you because I just don't like calling people and that's not the same for in work. Everyone's like, oh, but you've done reception roles before. It's not the same, okay? I just don't like people calling me, okay? <laughs> if it's important, obviously I will call, but texting. Or WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. <laughs> Glasses or contacts? Glasses, because there's so many nice jazzy designer and dupes of designer glasses and they're like a fashion statement as well as a necessity for some people. So yeah, glasses. Pen or pencil? Pencil, because you can erase your mistakes and also I like the feel and look of it on the paper and you can make it darker or lighter depending and that sounds weird but pencil also my handwriting tends to be neater in pencil I don't know why washing dishes or doing laundry definitely doing laundry you wouldn't go up to a plate and smell it and you know me I like smelling things I like going up to clothes and smelling them so a fresh laundry is the best scent ever especially fresh bedding and if something's gone into the tumble dryer and comes out, it's always going to be nice and cosy as well. Star Wars or Star Trek? I don't watch either, but Star Wars, I guess. That's got the cuter characters, I believe. Dark chocolate or white chocolate? Dark chocolate because it goes into more baking recipes that I like. <laughs> Is that a good reason? Cake or pie? Cake! I don't like no pies. Pies go soggy and stuff. I don't like them. Cake all the way. I like baking cakes. I like eating cakes. Cakes. Chinese or Italian? What? I hate Chinese food. Italian all the way. Pasta and pizza, I mean, where can you go wrong with those? Chinese food is way too sickly and sweet. Smile or game face? Smile! I mean, I was blessed with these cheesy gnashes, so obviously I'm going to put them to use. Um, and I don't get the whole resting bitch face, although some people do pull it off very well. It's got to be smiling. Smiling is happiness, and happiness is key. Thank you so much, Tracy, for sending those in. I've really enjoyed answering these questions, and I also think that if anyone who's watching this wants to send me in a little video or wants to do something like this with me I would happily accept because it's just something a little bit different makes me feel like I'm not just sitting here on my own even though I am and watching my phone I just feel like it's a lot more interesting and I hope that you guys enjoyed it too if you did don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also if you have any suggestions for some other videos perhaps you want me and Tracy to collab again then maybe 
send me a little comment down below and also if you love me that much you will subscribe as well that is free and love is free and subscribing is free and together they make one happy katie so on that bombshell goodbye goodbye goodbye